In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a histogram using ggplot2. The first thing we need to do is to load in our data and also to load the ggplot2 library. So that's what the first five lines of code do in this script. And we'll just run those briefly. Remember that you're going to have to change your working directory prior to trying to load the data so that the R knows where the data live. Looking up in our environment tab, we can see that we've loaded in the Hollywood Movies 2011 data set. And you can briefly explore what kind of variables these are, as well as some values for the first couple rows of the data set. Next, we want to draw a histogram. And it's pretty easy. We just really have to work with the geom histogram layer. And we'll just walk through this step by step. So as always, we start with the ggplot, the base layer of our ggplot. And what we need to do is give it the data. So for us, that's the Hollywood Movies 2011 data frame. We also need to give it a mapping. A histogram only requires one variable, and we're going to work with frequencies of that variable. So we just need to specify AEX, X equals budget. We're going to create a histogram of the budgets of the movies from 2011. The next layer, remember we add a plus to add another layer. The next layer is what we're actually going to draw. So that's the histogram geometry. Now, in the histogram geometry, you can specify the bin width, which I recommend toying around with a couple different options here, trying to find a good one. 10 actually works relatively well for this data set. And I also like to change the color just slightly from the default so that it looks a little bit better when it's plotted. Finally, I like to make sure that my X label is readable and also includes the units. So here it's budget in millions, which is more informative. Otherwise, you're trying to guess what the actual units are. So running these three lines of code, we'll see that we can get a histogram in R quite easily. Now remember that you can change the bin width and replot this. So if instead of 10, you wanted a bin width of 20, you can do that, rerun your code, and you see how the histograms change. That's how you create a histogram using ggplot2.